fine? I ate. Are you fine? I ate. We can't wait to see you. Oh yeah, hug, hug your tata. Hmm, kiss your tata. Big brother is ready to welcome you. See, <laughs> you <don't rest. laughs> So I'm currently 34 weeks gone and so far I can't see any visible change in my body like my nose I always have a big nose so the change and my hands are not swollen I don't have any discoloration like <laughs> this pregnancy really came to slow <laughs> my face is still okay <laughs> okay and this is what my bum looks like it's quite big honestly i don't know if maybe it's because it's my second pregnancy my bum is big compared to my first pregnancy at 34 weeks it's quite big and very heavy like i feel i'm going to have a big baby this time around let's see hopefully i'll have a big baby but so far, I'm loving everything about this pregnancy. Like, I just pray it continues like this till the end. So, here is what it looks like. This is how big it is. Like, it's very big. Oh. To me, compared to my size, I'm not fat. So, I expected to have a bomb that would not be too big. Anyway, but this is my second pregnancy. And I'm just at four weeks gone. So I feel, I don't know, I still have at least 40, um, 6 weeks more to go. Mm -hmm, that is to 40 weeks, but I doubt if I'll get to 40 weeks. See, eh? Because the heaviness, I feel so heavy. I feel so heavy. Just here, my whole body is light, but my bone is heavy. And this baby is moving. My bum is heavy. Even to even stand up or to roll, I find it difficult. So, let's see how it goes. If it will become more bigger. Because I don't even know where the stomach is protruding. Okay, come, come and see. Come and greet your tata. Kiss your tata. You kiss your tata. Tata, Tata is moving. Tata is moving. Look at Tata. Tata. Say, Tata, how are you? Are you fine? Are you fine? We can't wait to see you. Oh, yeah, hug, hug your Tata. Hmm, kiss your Tata. Big brother is ready to welcome you. See, I need more rest because this boy, oh my God. This boy would choke this tata, this baby with love. My son is actually ready to welcome his tata, like so much ready. He literally wakes up. Once he wakes up in the morning, he will come and meet me, come to my stomach, to my belly, and begin to kiss. He so much loves this baby. Of course, he knows that there is a baby inside because when, when he sees a little baby, like, maybe on a diaper the picture of a baby rather on a diaper on this baby cream or their soap you come and tell me ta 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 ta, ta and then you point to ta, ta, my ta, stomach ta. so he actually knows that there is a baby inside and it's just 20 months um 21 months rather a year and nine months and it would not be even two before this baby comes so <laughs> it's very much ready so this baby should better be ready to receive all the love from big brother because big brother is so much ready to carry this baby like i'm not sure he's going to allow anybody to be touching this is this is that down because that that. You know, the love is choking he actually started doing this when he was because i made him to understand that i was pregnant when as early back as three months actually so he knows that there's something in the stomach and as the belly began to grow he was seeing it so i was always reminding him tata is in here tata is in here because i don't want a situation whereby 
when my baby comes the elder one will be fighting or antagonizing all those jealous stuff so i actually had to start preparing him mentally for this baby on time so right now he loves anything baby both picture both real baby even those toddlers that are older than him he calls them tata so i love the fact that he actually loves baby right now and i'm hopeful that when he comes you know when this baby comes rather it's going to be the best big brother and it's going to show this baby so much love affection but guys eh, like this glow is <laughs> this glow is like is is the shine is too much like i feel so <clears throat> allow me to praise myself because because in my first pregnancy i knew what i went through i was nothing close to this so this glow is too much 34 weeks and i'm still like this there's no much difference from my pre-pregnancy state in fact i even look more better now look at the glow now look at the glow i don't even do much i just make sure I keep hydrated and moisturized. That's all. <laughs> See, <laughs> if this baby is a boy, <laughs> I can't. I can't possibly be doing all these things for a boy, right? So this baby has better. <laughs> this baby better be a girl because how will you give me all this? You know all this glow, and then it's for a boy. You get. Mm -hmm. It can't be for a boy. It's going to be for a girl, hopefully, because. <laughs> like i'm so much loving this glow because after i put to bed i won't really need to do much i won't really need to do much like i did in my first pregnancy to snap back the snapping back will be so fast and i feel so energetic with this pregnancy <laughs> i feel so energetic like I don't even know if I'm the one pregnant in this house or my husband is the one pregnant because I feel more energetic than him. I can actually walk from morning, from when I wake up in the morning till 10, 11 when I sleep. Like I've been sewing back to back. I've been sewing so many clothes back to back since this pregnancy. Even in this condition, this is my 34 weeks. Like right now, I still have some clothes to sew. I've been sewing back to back. I've been doing some academic researches also back to back. Like, I feel so energetic. Anytime I'm not vlogging, I'm not making videos. I'm doing one thing or the other. Either sewing, either making beads, either doing some, you know, some stuffs here and there. I feel so energetic. I don't even feel like sleeping at all. So I don't know. Anyway, I, I know it's not bad. My, my hyperactivity is not bad because if the baby doesn't want it, of course, I can't do, you know, you get, more, you get what I mean. If the baby doesn't permit me to do these things, I won't be able to do it. So I feel it's okay. It's what the baby wants. The baby doesn't want me to stay one place. And right now, my leg has not even swollen up. 34 weeks, my leg has not swollen up. Like, this is what my leg looks like presently. It's not swollen at all. Like, I can wear heels comfortably without anything. No edema, no water retention and all those bad stuff that happened to me in my first pregnancy. So, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like God decided to compensate me with this one i'm so happy with this pregnancy i don't know it just gives me this joy it gives me this joy like the uncertainty is zero i have no fear i have no fear at all zero uncertainty zero fear zero doubt i'm just so confident like i'm just so happy I'm so happy with this pregnancy and so far it has been treating me well it's surely going to end well it started in joy and it will end in joy and praise also and to any of you out there 
looking up to God for the fruits of the womb or if you're currently pregnant I wish you a stress-free pregnancy because see you wouldn't know what God has done for you until you experience a hard pregnancy I have experienced both so I know what God is doing for me now I wish you a stress-free pregnancy one that would radiate joy and the glory of God around your body a pregnancy that would start well and end well a pregnancy where there will be no emergency where there will be no rushing into the hospital and rushing out I wish you a safe pregnancy a healthy pregnancy a stress-free pregnancy one that you'll be filled with strength with so much strength with so much strength with so much joy because when you are happy as a pregnant woman trust me the baby in your womb would also be very happy but when you're stressed when you're always weak when you're sad it affects the mood of the baby and it also affects the health of your baby whenever you are ready whenever you are ready yours too would come and it will come with so much joy it will come with so much glow inside and outside of your body it will come with so much everything good everything good actually so i wish you catch you i wish you <laughs>